What's going on guys, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Blades. Uh, this is the first of the Protectobots, and as many of you can probably already see, he is a retooling of Alpha Bravo. Uh, but I have to say, at first glance, he does it pretty well. Um, he's got a very nice, uh, nice new head sculpt here. He's got some cool uh, weapons and accessories here, including a uh, hand slash foot for the combiner. And of course, you can combine him to form Defensor, as seen on the back here with the other four Protectobots, plus Groove, which we'll get into. Uh, he does have a, uh, a little bio here, and it says, Blades can take his alternate form, a chopper, a little too literally. Sure, he carries plenty of firepower, but he'd much rather shred enemies with his rotors, bringing him down with a whirling flurry of ch Copter Kung Fu. Copter Kung Fu. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Um, yeah, so pretty cool overall i really do like the alpha bravo mold and hopefully this will actually make some improvements to it which would be uh, nice to see just basically you know the the storage of the blades and things like that mine are a little floppy on alpha bravo but uh, we'll see how it all works out i'm anxious to get them open so i'm going to do ju just that and uh i'll see you guys in just a second Okay, guys, so here we have Blades in vehicle mode, and as you can see, uh, he's in lovely red and white rescue helicopter. He's got the, the foot fist on the bottom here with some sweet Gatling guns and, of course, the, the gun on the side. And we'll just unplug those and kind of put them off to the side for the moment. Uh, but as you can see, he's a nice, really slick-looking helicopter. Uh, I do like this mold very, very much, as I as I mentioned before. Um, and I love the uh, the printing on the, the tail fins here. Very nice. Autobot Coastal Rescue. Very cool. He's got the... Uh, it, and it's, it's the exact same mold uh, as Alpha Bravo. But just, I love the coloring on this, I think, a, a bit more. Uh, so I'll just show this off real quick. Here is Alpha Bravo. And you can see the two of them. There are no mold changes as far as vehicle mode is concerned. They are both very much the same uh, helicopter here. Very nice. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I mean, you know, the... the <laughs> you can, of course, spin the, the rotor if you like. Um, so, yeah, transformation on this guy is exactly the same as Alpha Bravo. Um, very simple, of course, uh, but very satisfying as well. You're just going to unplug the arms here. And we're going to go ahead and unplug... The nose, actually, you want to flip these up first. Kind of get those up another way. And then you can move this out of the way. You can see the plug here for the arm or leg mode, depending on what you prefer. You just plug these up into the side here. Uh, now, you want to pull these bits up. Or actually, you can pull these down first. That's fine. And then push these out and then extend the legs out making sure you've got these little plugs facing outward uh, because they're going to plug in right here now he is of course uh, packaged in robot mode but the transformation is so incredibly simple uh, I'm just showing you guys whoa hey <laughs> showing you guys the uh, the transformation from vehicle to robot because it really is super super simple and uh, for whatever reason his hip didn't want to, or his waist didn't want to rotate around. There you go. Just a little bit of flash or something kind of getting in the way there. But anyway, once you have that, uh, you go ahead and pop the tail down just like so. And you want to take these two bits and plug them into these two pegs on the back like so. Uh, just rotate the head around, and then you can do whatever you really want to with uh, the, the the rotor. Um, it's the same problem I had with Alpha Bravo, in that there's there's not really a good place to put it. I mean, you can just leave it down here, and then kind of push these up, and just kind of sneak them in against the uh, the tail fins. But it's it's not a terribly elegant solution. Um, I would have liked this to maybe, like, 
flip up onto the back or something. Uh, it hangs a little bit low for my taste, but it's really not terrible. It's just a little not not attractive. That's all. And you can flip this to one side or the other if you so desire, or you can leave it straight back. Uh, I may leave, you know, may turn this to the side and leave it um, straight back on Alpha Bravo just for a little bit of difference. But and there you have his robot mode. Okay, so here we can see Blades and Alpha Bravo, and I have to say. Uh, well, uh, first of all, there's no difference in the mold, unfortunately, other than the head sculpt. The Other than that, the, the mold is completely the same. Um, but for some reason, and it's unfortunate, the Alpha Bravo seems to hold together a little more tightly in uh, vehicle mode and just feels a little more solid in robot mode. Um, this guy feels good. His arms, uh, his elbows are nice and tight. Uh, the ratchets are, are lovely. Uh, there's soft ratchets on the elbows, and he's got all the same articulation that Alpha Bravo does. He's got a nice ball-jointed head with a lot of range of motion here. And I'll show you a quick close-up of the head here. There you go. Um, he's, of course, got the ball-jointed shoulders. He's got the bicep swivels. He's got the soft ratcheting uh, elbows, which you can bend backwards if you so desire. Uh, he does have the waist swivel. And... Uh, I think there is just, yeah, there's just a little bit of excess plastic down there that I just need to shave off. Um, but it, you know, rotates just fine. Just a little, needs a little bit of force there. Um, he's got the hip ball joints, he's got the thigh swivel, and of course the knee bend as well. Um, I really, really do like him. I like his helicopter mode over Alpha Bravo's, but for some reason I like Alpha Bravo's robot mode over this guy. I do, I do like his face sculpt better on Alpha Bravo, and the orange and black and white really just stand out really nicely. Um, so that's, you know, that's fine. And everybody's opinion can, of course, differ on that, but uh, that's that's mine. But overall, I think he's a really cool figure. I still enjoy the mold quite a bit. Um, and I think it's it's a good addition. And it, he, he makes a great blades. So I'm not going to say anything against that. Um, and people are probably more happy to see him as Blades than Alpha Bravo, um, because, you know, there's like an unofficial aerial bot, whereas Blades is a totally legit and official protector bot. So, um, yeah, if, if you're only going to get one and you hate Alpha Bravo, you'll probably really enjoy Blades. Uh, it's a perfectly good mold. Um, it's a fun figure. And, uh, yeah, it still, still holds up just fine. Uh, there's no problems here whatsoever. He's got his... His uh, weapon, and of course the foot fist, which uh, you should all know how that works by now. You pull the little fingers out, you just flip it, and put the thumb in the direction you want it to go to make either a right or left hand. So, very, very cool. And that is Blades, the Protector Bot. Yeah. Very simple. So, that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I have the rest of the Protector Bots coming up real soon, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, in the meantime, that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.